Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of April 3rd, 2016. Paleontologists have found that fossils of one of the closest cousins of dinosaurs can shine new light on a large unknown, how early dinosaurs grew from hatchlings to adults. Published this month in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology, the findings are surprising. Dinosaurs and their close relatives had much more variation in growth patterns than ever expected. Lead author Christopher Griffin, a geosciences master's student in the College of Science, focused his study on muscle scars etched into the fossil bones of the Acelosaurus Kongwe, a dinosaur cousin that lived roughly 10 million years earlier than the oldest known dinosaurs. Variation in muscle scars were thought to indicate sexual difference in early dinosaurs, but we know that in many modern animals these features are related to growth and not sex, said Griffin. Acelosaurus is part of a group of reptiles that are close cousins of dinosaurs. Acelosaurus grew similarly to living crocodilians in that both possessed differences between individuals in growth patterns. Yet that growth was much faster in Acelosaurus, closer to the growth rate of birds, rather than living crocodiles. As with dinosaurs, living birds are considered a close living relative of Acelosaurus. Griffin says, I'm fascinated by how much we can learn about the past through animals that are so unlike anything we have today, and how that can help us understand how today's world came to be the way it is. Scientists from the University of Liverpool have developed computer models of the bodies of sauropod dinosaurs to examine the evolution of their body shape. Dr. Carl Bates and his colleagues used three-dimensional computer models reconstructing the bodies of sauropod dinosaurs to analyze how their size, shape, and weight distribution evolved over time. The early dinosaurs that sauropods evolved from were small and walked on two legs. This body shape concentrated their weight close to the hip joint, which would have helped them to balance while walking bipedally. As sauropods evolved, they gradually altered both their size and shape, becoming not only significantly larger and heavier, but also gaining a proportionally larger chest, forelimbs, and in particular, a dramatically larger neck. Dr. Bates said, as a result of devising these models, we were able to ascertain that the relative size of sauropods' necks increased gradually over time, leading to animals that were increasingly more front-heavy relative to their ancestors. Dr. Philip Mannion, a collaborator in the research, added, These innovations in body shape might have been key to the success of titanosaurs, which were the only sauropod dinosaurs to survive until the end Cretaceous mass extinction 66 million years ago. To stay up to date on dinosaur news, visit dinosaurstop.com. That's all for this week. And until next time, wow.